Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. That's not just a regular episode though, this is actually a new rendition. Uh, if you look down in the corner we have 1.0, that's right, the new episode or the new version came out today. This is actually squad coming out of early access and into uh, actual finalized game, uh, which is exciting. Uh, we've all been waiting for this for a couple of years now. So, uh, with any new update that uh, has been in the past, I am starting a new save. Um, I am starting over. I actually deleted my entire new old game altogether, and we're going to be starting new. So with that, we're going to go ahead and start. Start new. We're going to choose this and make this Robear Nation, of course. Although Robear Nation isn't spelled with a P in it, though. Robear Nation, we will be playing career mode. We will be selecting a new flag. I think we will go with this guy. Except uh, career mode, we're on difficulty of normal, and let's go ahead and start. All right, uh, here we are at the new Kerbal Coast. Uh, Gene Kerman is or Kerman is here to greet us. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director, and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the space center. For here, you can manage all aspects of your space program. Feel free to look around, hold the right mouse button. Blah 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 blah. blah. Anyways, all that's new. Uh, with 1.0, they have introduced a lot of stuff. Well, most of that we will be getting to as we progress through the game, though. Uh, we're going to say thanks. See you later, Gene. Uh, as you can see, we have our regular old space center here. Uh, everything is at level one, or zero, I should say. Uh, we have our VAB. We have the... Um, welcome back, Gene, again. Uh, we have the mission control. Um, we have some active uh, um, some active contracts to do already and these are just kind of persistent ones that are always I think they're called first first world or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. world first okay so uh, these are these are just persistent ones that always happen and if you in the old version if you you had to select these ones individually and then but this one uh, once you get up to 3,000 the next one uh, automatically starts. And if you hit that one right away, you get that next one. You get that next one as well. Uh, most of these, though, they don't have any science. They're just uh, completion, just some money, basically, some reputation. So uh, we've all seen that. Uh, we are going to go into R and D. They've made a lot of changes to the tech tree as well. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. There's a lot of new stuff, so that will change up our gameplay a little bit. Um, right off the bat, they have two guys right here, whereas normally they only had one. And so uh, that will be interesting to see uh, what we need and when we need it. Uh, let's go back. Uh, we have the airplane or the space hangar right here, but we won't be going into that. One of the biggest new things that they did, though, is they added a girl, Valentina Kerman. She is also a pilot, um, so she'll be working with Jebediah. Um, Katine, Ted Brett, Lacey. Some good old, I got a lot of girls here. Anyway, so uh, they've also introduced some new uh, funding problems, or not problems, but some new funding uh, uh, things with uh, getting new getting getting new crew members. Uh, look, it already costs, what, $65,000 to do that. I only have 25. So we're going to be working with these main guys for a little while. Uh, of course, we have Jebediah, who, of course, is our favorite. Bill and Bob and uh, the new girl, Valentina. Um, what do we have here? Is our, um, this is where we can do our strategies. Uh, of course, there's some new ones. The research rights sell out. Make a quick buck for science and R&D team is collected by selling exclusive research rights to the highest builder. Yes, it means you won't be able to use any of that science yourselves, but for exclusive rights, I'm sure we can fetch a pretty penny for some large agency or conglomerate. Then we have a bailout grant too, which those are both new. And our launch pad is the same. And uh, our tracking center, I believe, is the same as well. So, uh, with... Apparently we went into our tracking center. Oh, Gene's back again. Uh, this is the tracking facility. And we have our standard, our normal solar system. Nothing really changed there. So, 
so aside from uh, uh, downloading the game, I did log. I did do one uh, test flight just to see how everything worked. Um, and so, other than that, everything is new for me as well. I've uh, read some notes. Other than that, I'm looking forward to playing the game. So uh, Werner von Kerman is here to meet us. Hello, I'm Werner von Kerman, Chief Rocketeering Engineer. This is the vehicle assembly building. Here is where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? We already know how to do all that. One of the new things that we see down here is the um, engineer report. Uh, it gives us a checklist to see if we're missing anything in our spaceship. Some, whether it be uh, severely dangerous, just kind of something to draw your attention to and just informational. So looking at the parts that we have, uh, all this is new. Uh, we don't have any uh, fuel tanks. We have this. This is a new a new part, a flea rocket or solid rocket booster. Uh, while considering or while considered by some to be a little more than an empty trash can. I can't read today apparently. Um, so yeah, that's a very little tiny guy. That's kind of new. That's new. Um, nothing there, nothing there. Our parachute and the science. I don't remember having the science right away either. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put out this guy. Uh, and you know what? We're actually going to throw some uh, mystery goos on here. We're just going to put one. Already down here, you can see in the in the um, engineer's report. It's giving us some attention. Something's wrong. That the parachute is missing, and also we have some unused mono repellent or propellant. Also, uh, the the vehicle is missing or has mono propellant container, which is not used by any connecting or anything that requires mono propellant. So really, it's just kind of a informational thing. But really, all we're doing is we're just going to be throwing Bob in here. Come on, Jebediah, get out. Go ahead, Bob. We're going to bring this out to the launch pad. All right, here we are at the launch pad. And all we're doing is we're just going to take a crew report real quick. Gives us a couple science. We're going to do some mystery goo. Gives us some more science. And we're going to do an EVA. We're going to do a EVA report. I think this is still true yeah we still can't do uh, anything like that so grab onto there we're going to board and we're going to recover this vessel earned 10 science right here that's pretty cool uh, for our three uh, experiments that recovered um, parts There we go. 10 free science. That's pretty awesome. Pretty sure there was no more in the contracts. We're going to launch our first vehicle. We're going to accept that one. We're going to escape the atmosphere. I don't think we're going to be doing that one right away. But we will see. Let's go down to the R&D facility. We got 10. We can already do these first two. We got 10.1. Might as well, right? There we go. So we got some parts. All right, here we are back in the VAB. We're going to do actually do our first proper spacecraft. All right, so let's see. We uh, we have this very tiny guy, but we're not going to use him. Actually, I think what we're just going to do is throw that on there. And we're going to put on, see our engineer report says parachute is missing, and we have unused propellant. So we're going to take that out of there. Saves us some money. We will throw on a parachute. There's that. I see now it's telling us that the parachute is on the engine stage. Go ahead and fix that as well. There we go. So now saying there's nothing concerning about this vessel. Alright, so there's our first little vessel. We've got a science uh, bay. 
we have our uh, crew our crew cab or our module we have a couple sciences right here parachute and a just a giant rocket booster uh, we're going to put Jebediah back in so that is good uh, let, let's go ahead and fire off now out at the launch pad with Jebediah he looks a little scared for once um, we've already done that um, so I don't know if we want to do this right now let's see what that gives us 7.5 going to go ahead and uh, reset the experiment. We're going to go up into orbit and do that. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn on uh, SAS. And we don't need to throttle up because it's the rocket boosters. And we're going to launch in three, two, one, go. An interesting new effect. We have some uh, uh, camera shake going on. Uh, first world first speed record 300 miles meters per second and their speed record 450 meters uh, altitude of 3500 there's that there's 75 750 7500 meters some mock effects they also look a little bit different as well altitude record of 11.5 Jebediah, of course, looks fantastic. I'll go ahead and do another uh, mystery goo right here. 19K up. The goo seems to be getting very cold right now. C -c 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 cold. And we are still coasting upwards. We are starting to slow down. We can see that we're about 98, 7, 6, we're going to go ahead and do this now. 22. Uh, the rotified air has caused interesting changes to gel sample. It seems like there's something happening in the interior structure. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. We are falling now. We're just going to kind of watch this fall back down. it over. More rock effects. A little bit of camera shape as well. Right, let's go ahead and pop our chute. Flip this around. Looks like we're going to land just outside of the VAB. There's the parachute pop. coming down a bit heavy. This thing has a crash rating of 7 meters per second. This could all go horribly, horribly wrong. It looks like it's going to. Six, nine, seven, six, nine, seven. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and do a crew report as well. Should have done them while we were in the air. Do an EVA real quick. Uh, we are going to do a take the data, store the data, and do an EVA report real quick. We've already done one. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and we can't recover the vessel while he's outside. Silly. Board. All right, let's recover this. 38 science. That's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and recover back up. 
get 128 funds back. So we're up to 128,000. Jebediah earns an extra experience point. So we're up to 128,000 uh, funds, which we had started with only 25. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we have any new contracts. Just Orbit Kerbin, which we are going to get to. We have some active ones. These are those progressive ones that I was talking about. Let's go into the Science Center, see what we got, or the R&D facility. With 39, that is impressive. I think we are going to get that one, start doing some proper rocketry. Do we have only 19.1? I like this one, or that one better. This is a new part, the heat shield. Haven't used that before. Small structure heat shield with integrated fairings. Um, and a service bay, I think that's new as well. But we aren't going to get those. We are actually going to get this guy. That gives us these wings. So we have a nose cone, that's, a, that's new as well. Alright, so let us close out of here. Just that one orbit curve and still. Alright. Let's see how much higher we can go. Bring this out to the launch pad. All right, here we are at the launch pad. Like I said, this might be a bit ambitious, but we will see. Jebediah is with us again. Turn on SAS. And let's oh, you know, get rid of these guys. And let's launch in three, two, one. camera shake going on. Real fast burn. Engine cut off. Hoping to get above 70,000 meters, that puts us officially into space. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're still doing 400 and some odd meters per second. 65, oh, you know, I think we will make it. Sixty-eight and a half. There are 69, still going 300 and some odd meters per second. There is 70,000 meters. That puts us officially into space. I'm take a goo reading while we're out here. 
The goo seems to be clumped into a sphere. It also seems to become brittle. Uh, we are going to take a materials bay. Uh, 25 signs. Look at that. The microgravity has greatly affected the growth of the crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. We're going to go ahead and save that as well. If I was more... Uh, let's see what we got. If I was more um, confident in my my abilities... I would actually might actually go for Let's see go big or go home right guys shake going. Down. Go ahead and cut off while we still have some fuel. That way because it looks like we are going to touch down in the water. Do a crew report while we're up here as well. New sound effects are really kind of awesome too. We're going to try to save this. Remember, we need to be above or below seven. Coming down to 8.3 right now. Touchdown. Touchdown in the water. of a mystery go to the goo the goo escapes into the water all right let's go ahead and recover this vessel 60 science that is amazing uh 435 funds wow got a 4460 back from recovered parts next jebediah gets no xp all right i think we have time for one more launch Let's see what we got over here. Oh, look at that. We got some uh, 
ferry two tourists safely to their destination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. That's a new thing. Uh, tourists are new. Ferry two tourists mm -hmm. safely mm -hmm. to their destination again. Keep them alive and show them a good time. Just a couple suborbital flights. What are these guys? Mm -hmm. Suborbital mm -hmm. too. Suborbital, suborbital. Of course, I don't have a uh, three-person cargo cargo though. Very two tourists, so more suborbital, suborbital. Uh, we want you to test the MK55 Thud liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. In flight mm -hmm. over Kerbin as well, we won't be doing that. At the launch site, we can do that. In flight over that? Nope, not going to be doing that. Not going to be doing that. Still want to do that. Still want to do that. Alright, so that gives us a couple things. Active. We have a new uh, speed record as well. All right, let's get rid of these guys. That's where I just was. Let's go into the R&D facility. We have enough for one more. We have uh, 45.6. These all cost 45. It looks like. Uh, what is this? Minimum crew to operate is one. It's mine line wheel. Some new winglets. I like the winglets. These are all space plane or parts. We're not going to be doing that just yet. Oh, look at that steering. Oh, these are new. They said they put in a lot of new uh, landing gears too. A lot, a lot of wheels. And decoupler. Structural fuselage struts. I think we're probably going to end up doing is this guy right here. Alright. Just that. Oh, nice. Those two are lumped together now. Those two separate ones before. We start to get to some uh, landing gear. We need that. Of course, if we need to start doing airplane stuff, I need that as well. jaunt around the uh, run space shall we all right so one thing I am going to do I am going to take off this guy because we've already gotten the science that well, you know what maybe not I'm rethinking that now I don't know it's weight
All right, that looks like it. Let's take this out. Should have really brought a, uh, the new girl out. Start letting her get some experience. I think I will. All right, here we are back out in the launch pad. We have Valentina with us, who looks like she has a very small head. Seems kind of weird. She's like a baby Kerbin. Anyways, uh, we're going to try to get a orbit. I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to give it a, a good old college try. All right, turn on SAS. Valentina, I have lots of hope in you. Let's see if you can do this. Uh, and let's launch in three, two, one, go. Alright, very good launch so far. Valentina is looking very excited. Not drifting off as bad as we did last time. There's that. Start trying to pitch over a little bit. I do have the uh, smaller engine on here, but it is pivotable, so, or vectoring, I think, so enables us to move around a little bit. H halfway out of the atmosphere, Valentina, you're doing great. Go ahead and throttle up a little bit more. 40,000 meters up. eerie how that engine just shuts off and it's just quiet. Of course I hear that's the way it actually is in the space shuttle. In the space shuttle. Yeah, so loud, 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 and then it just cuts off and it's quiet. I'm just going to coast a little ways up here. Drop that dead weight though. There's space. See if we can just get up to speed now. There's an orbit. Look at that, guys. It's fantastic. Good job, Valentina. Well, that was a unexpected outcome of that uh, of that mission, but unfortunately, that's where we leave off for today <laughs> with the death of the new Valentina Kerbin. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of speechless. I, I don't know that I've never had that happen before. Obviously, it's the new atmospheric effects uh, can't come in like a missile. So uh, lesson learned. So there we go. <laughs> So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like it by hitting that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, hit that thumbs up button anyways. Uh, if, you want to, uh, if you want to follow along with this or any of my other series, please subscribe. To join in that conversation, please leave a comment below. You can find links to my Facebook and Twitter pages in the description. As always, thank you for spending some time with me today. My name is Rob, and you've been watching The Real Bear Nation.